Hello students, standard four, unit two, savings. Home. The topic is what do humans save? Let me see the importance of savings. Unit two, savings. Home. What do humans save? In this poem, we are going to learn how to save our food and other things. What do humans save? Ants pile food in the ant hill. They eat it during the winter's chill. Moles dig long and winding tunnels and save worms in the channels. Crocodiles are found in many countries. They store food in their pantries. Squirrels reserve food in a larder. They store in a seven course meal with starter. Leopards keep their prey on a tree and eat them when they are free. Farmers store the harvest in a granary, soon to be packed in the cannery. What do you save? Everything that nature gave. Ants store their food for winter season to eat. Moles have warm drops to save worms in their channels. Crocodiles are found in many countries. They store food in their pantries. Crocodiles used to save food in underwater. As they want their food rotten. Pantries means a storage room. Squirrels reserve food in a larder. They store a seven course meal with starter. Squirrels used to store food in the small cupboard or storage room. Larder means storage room. Leopards keep their prey on a tree and eat them when they are free. Leopards always used to store their food on a tree and eat the food when they are free. Farmers store the harvest in a granary soon to be packed in the cannery. Farmers used to store food grains in a storehouse and soon to be packed in cans or tins. What do you save? Everything that nature gave. Everything the nature gives can be used to save by humans. In this poem, the rhyming words are Hill, chill, tunnels, channels, countries, pantries, larder, starter, tree, free, granary, cannery, save, give. Ants store food in ant hills. Moles save worms in warm channels. Crocodiles save food in pantries, that is, under water. Squirrels store food in ladder, that is, a storage room. Leopards keep their prey on a tree. Farmers store in granary. That is a storehouse of a threshed grain. Soon the grains are sent to pack in cans or tins. As a human's duty to save the natural things. That is water, our environment plants, etc. Glossary Pile To collect Pantries 
a storage room. Prey, an animal that is hunted and killed by another for food. Granary, a storehouse for threshed grain. Canary, a place where the food is packed in cans or tins. Now it's grammar part. Let us know. Simple past tense is used to describe an action that has happened. You already know the verb forms. They are present tense, past tense, past participle, present participle. Under present tense, write, writes. Past tense, wrote. Past participle, written. Present participle writing. The past form is used in simple past tense. Come, let us use it. Now these verbs are for first person. I wrote the test. We played football. Now the verb forms in the second person. You went home. Now the verb forms for third person. He ran to the classroom. She played the chess. It flew away. They visited him. We saw simple past tense for action verb. Now let us use simple past tense for B form verbs. State of being. Present tense is am, is, or. Past tense is was, were. Past participle being. Present participle being. Now let me see some examples. I was an engineer. He was a pilot. She was a soldier. It was a computer. We were young. You were a patient. They were students. We use the past tense to talk about an action that has happened. What happened? A monkey came down from the tree. It grabbed the banana from the boy. He shouted in fear. The monkey ate the banana. Write was or were to complete the sentences. I was the leader of my class. We were in New York last week. You was a baby. Raghu was my junior in school. Kavi was kind to me. The bus was brand new. They were friends. For singular verb, we have to use was and for the plural verb, we have to use were. Write the past form of the verbs. Read, read. Sing, sang. Sleep, slept. Future tense. Simple future tense refers to an action or event that has not yet happened. Present tense. Come. Past tense. Came. Past participle. Come. Present participle coming. The present tense form is used in simple future tense with the auxiliaries shall or will. Come, let us use it. I shall will meet him tomorrow. That is, we have to use shall or will to the verb. B. 
shall or will meet him tomorrow you will meet him tomorrow they will meet him tomorrow he will meet him tomorrow she will meet him tomorrow it will reach him tomorrow so the verb future used for first person second person and the third person in the above example you can see the verb is in the present form the word shall and will are used for i and we will used in for you they he she it we use simple future tense for actions that yet to happen the bus will reach or caught by the evening thank you children